When it comes to the Turtles, there's strength in numbers. Here's your look at the new NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon Series 2 box set. Totally Turtle-tastic! From NECA, this epic box set of 7-inch scale action figures from the classic 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon is exclusive to Holothon. This incredible set includes Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael in their style guide coloration. The figure features interchangeable heads to display a variety of expressions and come with a ton of accessories, all in a collector-friendly box. Before we take to looking at some new Teenage Turtles from NECA, maybe the first thing we should do is figure out how tall the figures stand. Now, they are using the same bodies as the Turtles we've gotten before. What is different about this set, though, is not only are you getting all the four Turtles inside one set release, but you're also getting the different expressions, something that we've seen in earlier cases like the Turtles in Disguise set that we've looked at recently here on this channel. Now, this box set is also part of NECA's Holothon. Uh, runtime of which they released a whole bunch of different figures online and then made them available to stores. Lucky enough, here in Canada, a lot of the Holothon figures have made to store shelves in Toys R Us. So if you are here in Canada and you're looking to pick up some of the Holothon figures that NECA advertised online, you should be able to find them at your local Canadian Toys R Us stores. That being said, let's go ahead and grab the ruler here. First of all, I really am going to only measure off one of the turtles because, of course, all of them are all going to be the same size to one another. Sticking with that, Leonardo is five and a half inches in height, or he's about 14 centimeters tall. I just grabbed a couple of figures off my shelf for comparisons. Uh, Michelangelo, uh, just because again, all the figures are going to be the same. The only thing that's going to be different, of course, is the color of their headbands. But this is the original Michelangelo, the darker green skin variety. And there's also the lighter green skin, which is closer to what we're getting here with this four pack. One thing is different, though, with the newer Turtles is that they do feature larger head sculpts. The original Turtles did have the much smaller heads. So that's one thing that you can see is different between the Turtles. But when it comes certainly to the rest of their bodies, all the bodies are going to be the exact same. And while not closer to the darker coloring of the Turtle figures that we got before, they are certainly closer to this color scheme. In fact, the greens seem similar. If you had collected any one of the earlier released TMNT sets, then all of the territory we're going to cover with accessories are going to look familiar to you. In fact, I don't think there's anything packaged with the Holothon 4 set that wasn't already included in an earlier TMNT release. Like, for example, the boxes of pizza. You get two of them, and funny enough, in both the cases, the pizza has the same slice removed. I think they should have, if anything, rotated the pizza slightly, but I guess the person that's pulling the pizza slice seems to favor this section right here. If I'm looking at the ingredients, I see pepperoni, I see mushrooms, and possibly even sprinklings of either green, maybe like green peppers, or possibly even anchovies. The pizzas are not removable. In fact, you could tip them upside down. They're not going to be going anywhere. And both of them are contained inside the same plastic pizza box, although the covers flipping them around are different from one another. Nods to earlier episodes, one is Vinny's Pizza, and the other one is Ninja Pizza, home of the nice slice. These are non-hingeable. In other words, you can't close the pizza boxes. The only thing that will happen when you try to close this is that this will snap the back of it and you're going to be very upset. And you're going to say, why did I do that? I mean, they did release at one point cardboard pizza boxes that did close. But at some point, it would be nice that they could actually put in a serviceable hinge where you'd be able to close the pizza boxes shut. Let's put those to the side. I suppose while we're on the topic of pizza... All this pizza talk's making me hungry. You do get actually one lone slice. Whether it actually came from Vinny's or came from Ninja Pizza, it's, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, looking at them, one thing that's interesting is that the pizza slice is longer. So this must have come from a different box. Uh, the thing about this, as we've gotten before, there's a hole, as you can see, right at the top of that. Peekaboo, I see you. But you can take, actually, one of Raph's Psy and easily slide the pizza slice onto the top. Again, not exclusive to this set, but it is sort of a one-stop shop. The great thing really about this set is for anyone that hadn't picked up a turtle set before, or any one of the NECA turtle figures before, this sort of gives you everything, everything that you need, including, again, the slice on top of Raph's Psy. I'm going to put that to the side as well. You get yourself a can of mutagen. 
I don't know how many times. I think we probably have gotten about four of these canisters by now. Slightly different from one another. Some of them have been purple. Some, I believe, have been blue. This one happens to be dark gray, but I've panel lined it rather nicely. You can see, again, there's the holes on the top. Luckily, it's not leaking. I'm not going to be turning into some hairy mutant, at least not that I'm aware of. Get yourself a little canister of ooze. You get a couple of turtle communicators. Again, the best way to describe this set, one-stop shop. Flip it around, you can, while it doesn't open, at least you can see where the antennas would extend out. I've said this, I'm sure, several times already. I'll mention it again in this review. Love to see a one-to-one -one scale of a turtle communicator. If you can, release it, Neca Toys. Uh, there is also a second version of the same communicator. This one actually does have the ends extended out. And, of course, the antenna sticking out. These you can't close up, unlike the quarter-scale turtles that we looked at earlier. But you can sort of see how it starts, more compacted, and how it opens up, that revealing the screen inside. Please, a one-to-one -one scale commu communicator. I'm put those to the side. So you get two and two, two and two. You also get yourself the turtle hook. Generally, this was something that was wielded a lot of times by Michelangelo, more so until later into the series. It has the hooks that extend out to the side, and you've got a real rope that runs out from that. That's nice to see that. And I've actually weighted it on the end of it, too. Again, have we gotten this before? Yes, we have. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, then, of course, then we kind of get to the more localized, specific accessories to the turtles. I guess one other thing that they come included with as well is some swappable hands. As of right now, stock out of the box, all of the Turtle Brothers come with gripping hands. Suited for right out of the box, right away for display. That means to hold all of their weapons. But if you prefer some turtle high-fiving, they come with a pair of flat hands, uh, only a single pair. Uh, they come with, with, for example, a pointing hand, also which you can use for Raph's side. We can go ahead and just take the side and sort of wedge it in between the thumb and the pointer finger if you want to have them displayed like that. Uh, speaking also of Raph's side, you also get a bunch of these uh, partially gripping hands, which again, you can take the side and just fit the prongs underneath the palm. Just like that. It's a little actually harder. In fact, it's even harder to do while I'm holding both the hands in place. But you just get the one thumb. There we go. Just like that. And Raphael has the means to hold the side. He actually really gets more of the attention when it comes to the actual hands, as a couple of hands seem more suited for him than anyone else. But again, you could use them for any one of the turtles. And then finally, you get yourself turtle thumbs up. Job well done. Job well done. We're going to put those to the side. Then, of course, you get actually, again, all the weapons exclusive to the turtles, as we already discussed. You do get yourself a pair of Psy. Psy still stays singular when you say it pluralized. Psy. And then, uh, of course, uh, Raphael, you can kind of take the Psy and just run him down the side of his belt. as kind of a convenient place to store them. He doesn't have slots in the front to hold the Psy, nor does he have slots on the back. So they really haven't allotted space for that. But again, you can kind of just run it down the side of his belt if you aren't looking, of course, to display them in his hands. And of course, yeah, you can just take them in his stock hands. Just take the handle and slide it straight through. A little on the loose side. Uh, they won't... I mean, yeah, I guess you could still tip it upside down for the blizzard test. They're going to stay in place. And then, of course, Donatello comes included with his bow staff. Just one singular staff. They have washed across a little bit of dark black paint just to fill in some of those areas of the taped off section. Uh, it is all basically just still using the dark brown. There's no, uh, none of the paint, none of the tape has actually been painted differently than the rest of the bow staff. It's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, and then for Donatello, of course, there's the section on the back that houses the bow staff if you aren't looking to display it in his hands. Don't worry as well. We're going to go through each one of the individual turtles also in a second. Uh, Michelangelo comes included with two nunchucks, as you can see, with complete chains attaching the two ends together. Uh, much lighter, more cartoon accurate sort of nunchucks later into the series run. And you get two of those. And then Michelangelo doesn't have, again, a section on the back to house them. So you're only really going to be able to display them in his hands, which we'll do in a second. The other neat thing about the set as we've gotten before, there's also the spinning option. Uh, you can take one of the nunchuck ends. The hardest thing, of course, is just to find out which one it is. I think it's this one here, or possibly, let's double check here. One of the ends allows you to remove it. There we go. Being that they all kind of look the same, they're kind of hard to pinpoint which one is which, but you just attach the end of it and you got yourself a spinning nunchuck. 
You only get one of them, but again, being the fact that a lot of these accessories have carried over from earlier sets, if you already had another set from before, you just, you know, you have more than one nunchuck to work with. And then, of course, the last of the accessories before we get down to looking at the individual heads, uh, Leonardo, Leonardo does come in clue with a pair of katanas, which seem identical to one another. Both the blades, both the guards, and both the hilts all seem to be colored, well, identical to one another. And again, more accurate to the cartoon. Leonardo does have a section onto the back like Donatello, where you can take then the katana blades and just slide them into the back. Although one thing about Leonardo, though, it's really tight quarters. I had a tough time actually getting the blade in there. I may see if I can actually heat that up just a little bit. And then once the plastic is soft enough, take then the blade of the katana and see if I can fit it through while the plastic is still warm. Because right now, if you get it immediately out of the box, there's really not a lot of space to work with. And I really don't want the blade to break or I don't want the paint to wear away from the blade trying to fit that in place. Those are all the accessories. Now let's have a look at the swappable head sculpts. For that, I actually just removed Donatello's bow staff and I removed this side from Raph's hand. Uh, each one of the figures do come included with an alternate head sculpt. And as we certainly have seen before with the quarter scale turtles and the turtle in disguise four set, is that all of the turtle faces not only give you a different expression. So like, for example, here's Leonardo's defaulted head sculpt with a smile. And not as much the smile, here's an alternate head sculpt that comes included with this face. Now, easily you could just pop the one off and replace it with the other. Or what you can also do as well is take the bandana off and just remove the top part of his face. Now, this is, can be a little difficult, especially if you don't have the nails. You really don't want to be chipping the paint. What you can also do as well is take yourself a screwdriver, as I've said before in an earlier review, and you sort of can use that as a leveraging point just to pop the top off. You're not really forcing it in there necessarily. It's only just kind of giving you a little bit of leverage to pop the top of the head off. And then you can replace it with any one of the other heads. So like, for example, if you wanted to have, well, like Raphael using this mouth, for example, easily just swap around the bandanas. So like, let's say, for example, we want to use Donatello's head and we want to use Leonardo's eyes. I know we've already had a look at this before. So for those new to doing this, you, know, you can easily kind of sometimes you can get your finger in there to lift this away. Ah, see, Donatello's was a little bit easier. Again, this was Leonardo's. This was Donatello's. And again, if you want to swap those around, just take then the top of the face with the eyes and pop that in place. And see, there's the difference right there. And again, you can just mix and match until you get the desired look that you want. And then from there, the last thing you will want to do is just put the bandana back to the back. And then, of course, there's some articulation in there as well, as was the case with the earlier turtles that we looked at before. And then we go go ahead and just take Leonardo's head sculpt, yank it off the ball joint. Yanking is probably not the best word to describe for using it. And then we're just going to replace it with this alternate head sculpt here. And again, like even when you see the eyebrows too, see he almost has more of a, I don't want to say an angrier look on his eyebrows, but see how his, ang his eyes are angled a little lower down. Whereas you have a more neutral looking head sculpt, you just mix and match it. The only criticism I would make about this, and it's something I did notice near the end of looking at the Turtles in Disguise set, is when you actually look at the open mouths, I think they swap the colors around. So like, for example, the inside of the mouth, instead of what I think to be would be like a lighter pink, for example, they've actually colored the inside orange and they painted the tongue pink. The mouth Tongue being pink is not so much my issue. I feel, again, I think the coloring is a little off. I don't know if it should be this much orange. But again, like, you can just swap these in and out. As for, again, like, the actual bodies, the bodies are all going to be the same to one another. The only thing that's changing from one to the other is, of course, the coloring of each of their individual elbow pads, their wristbands, their knee pads, and, of course, their head sculpts. The one other thing that gets changed between all the turtles with all the cases before as well is that the initial down below on their belt is also going to be changed too. And nice thing about these, as I'm sure I've said also in earlier reviews, is that the letter, in this case L, is actually sculpted to be lifted rather than actually just painting the, the letter in. So it's nice to see that they actually did sculpt that. Body-wise, all the figures are going to be the exact same to one another. And just actually putting down Leonardo here, we're going to pick back up Michelangelo as we did bring him in for an earlier comparison. This was the original Michelangelo. Same body, from what I can see as well, the same coloring too. 
bandanas seem, or at least the bandana, the elbow pads, knee pads, also seem a little bit lighter, but not to too much the extreme. One thing that is the extreme, though, is the shape of the face. You can see as well, like the cheeks on Michelangelo, for example. And granted, yes, he is smiling. Uh, that's going to make his, fe his features stand or stick out a little bit more. But you can see where they started their sculpting of the turtle figures and where we've arrived now. Definitely an improvement on the head sculpts. And if you didn't think there was enough characteristics, personality to the original turtle faces, these newer turtles definitely do bring a lot more pizzazz, a lot more energy, I think, to the characters themselves. Again, like the bodies themselves, just again, spinning around the two differences, other than really Leonardo having the extra back part on his back to hold the katanas, all the bodies are going to be the exact same to one another. For the articulation, by the way, on these figures, it's all going to be the same as well, again, because we're doing it times four. Head sculpt is on a ball joint. So yeah, you can rotate the head all the way around. It allows the head to look down and look up quite a lot, actually. And also rock it back and forth. A nice angle pivot on the uh, neck area there. And of course, all the bandanas also have articulation. You can hinge those back and forth. And technically, yeah, you can rotate them too. So if you like to have maybe the end of the bandana kind of off to the side, you can easily do that. As for the arms, now the elbows, the shoulders, I should say, are a little on the tight side in these figures. But again, I would rather tight joints than loose joints. The arms do rotate all the way around. Again, it gets a little hung up, of course, onto the back because he's dealing with a shell after all. It would happen to all of us, I'm sure, if we had to have shells on our backs. There's a swivel in the bicep. He has a single hinge on the elbow. This one's a little looser than this one here. A forearm does rotate. Hands ro rotate also all the way around. And with the cases before as well, the top of the turtles are also on ball joints. I don't know if you can actually see that. The, this shell is sort of sandwiching the joint inside. It allows the top of the torso to rotate back and forth or hinge back and forth this way. A uh, leg split out. You can see there's the ball joint working inside there behind the scenes. Legs go forward, legs go back. Uh, there's a swivel at the top of the thigh, double hinge on the knee. And in all the cases, not only is there a hinge joint for the ankle this way, but there's also an ankle pivot happening this way as well. The thing again about this set, what benefits new collectors of turtle toys, instead of having to track down the original turtle releases on eBay and pay probably the excruciating prices that scalpers would be selling these for now, NECA has given you now the option of buying everything. I mean, you're getting all the four turtle brothers, you're getting all the swappable head faces that we got before, and you're getting all the accessories I think one would need right down to two boxes of pizza. The downside to this set, stating the obvious, if you had tried to see this set, first of all, buy it online, or even if you were lucky enough to see this in store, the set of the Holothon 4 set, this four pack of Turtle Brothers, is a little more on the heftier side. In fact, finding this set at Toys R Us, the price here in Canada is $247. It's a bit steep. Considering that, really, if you look at each of the individual Turtle releases, or even like just considering what a normal NECA figure will set you back, at least here in Canada, for me, it's usually about a $35 figure on average. So considering 35, 35, 35, 35, that's nowhere near $247. Again, a lot of it could be the fact that it was limited quantity calling, of course, it was released part of their Holothon release set. But still, even with factoring in all the accessories that you get, factoring in, again, the included extra swappable head sculpts, I think the price point probably could have gone down just a little bit more. This set, I think, if anything, at the very most, probably should be about $200. And even then, that's asking about $50 a figure. I think to even ask then $240, or a case here again of where I saw these at Toys R Us for $247, I think that's a bit steep. Again, it's good for those that have never had the chance to pick up a NECA figure, a NECA turtle figure, if you already have picked up in the, the sets in the past, if you've already collected these individually, because initially they had released them as two packs, granted not yet necessarily with those faces, but if you already had picked up the turtles and those accessories you got before, I don't know if that's going to be a hard, it might be a hard sell for people now to pick up this set, getting essentially those same turtle figures again. I like the fact that you get all the accessories. I like again that you finally get the four turtles together, but again, $240, that seems a bit steep. The NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cartoon Series 2, or the Holothon Turtles box set, benefits, I think, both the new-time collectors of Turtle Toys and long-time collectors 
of the Turtles toys. New time collectors will benefit from the fact that you're having everything together. I quoted one stop shop. That's essentially what you're getting here in this box set. You're getting all the four Turtle Brothers, so you don't have to try to buy and track them down individually. You're getting the different swappable head sculpts, different expressions on their faces, and all the accessories you would ever really need to start collecting. I mean, turtle pizza boxes, you're getting all the weapons, you're getting the different hands and even communicators, everything that you need. But the longtime collectors, some that may be on the fence as to whether they want to get this set for themselves, if you had already collected the older turtle toys, the darker green skin, my personal favorite of the turtle toys so far, and the lighter, more media packaged turtles with the lighter green skin, this set benefits from those because, first of all, you're getting better new improved head sculpts. You're getting the swappable expressions, and even though we did get the same type of head sculpts with the Turtles in Disguise set, keeping in mind that Turtles in Disguise set also had the darker green skin. If you did like the more lighter lime-colored Turtles, this benefits from getting the brand new head sculpts. Now again, we did mention already, and I'll mention again in the end of here in the final looks of these, these figures, the price point is a bit staggering. I did find this set at my local Toys R Us, uh, one of the things, at least of having the local Toys R Us stores, is that they're now starting to stock all of the hall of figures. So if, if you didn't get your chance to get these online initially, and you have a Toys R Us nearby, check your local stores, because they should be sitting on the shelf. Well, not this set. This set, surprisingly enough, was actually behind the cashier's desk. You have to go up and ask the cashier and sort of point, and she'd have to know where you're pointing to, to actually buy one. But yeah, the price point for this was $247. I can't I can't say what it was online because I didn't, of course, buy this online. But buying it locally, $247 plus tax. That's a bit steep. That works out to be about a $60 per turtle figure. And that is a bit on the high side. Even considering all the things that we actually get in this set, I think, if anything, the Holothon Turtle 4-pack should have sat more comfortably around $200, not adding the extra $50 on top of that. I think it's well worth it. I just think that the price should have been a little bit more easier to digest because at $247 plus all the lovely taxes that we have to add on top of our purchases, that's a bit of a steep uh, price to be paying right up front for one single set. Benefit is that you get all the four Turtle Brothers. The downside again is the price point and we can't overlook that. Still, I'm happy to have picked up this set. If you have picked up the Holothon set for yourself, let me know down below in the comments section. Do you think it was worth the price point? Or do you feel like it is a little on the steeper side? Or what would you have charged for the Holothon Turtle uh, box set? Do you think it maybe would have sat better at around $180, about $200? What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. Hey, now, if you are new to this channel, you're enjoying the content that you're seeing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on so you always, you're always going to get those friendly reminders of whenever new videos are going to be popping up. And, you know, speaking of which, also popping up at the very end of this video will be a playlist of all the other NECA TMNT stuff that I've been looking at over the years. Of course, keep your turtle peepers peeled while we have wrapped up the review for the Holothon Turtle Box Set. There is going to be, of course, more NECA reviews coming your way in the not-so-distant future. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.